Hey everyone, today we're going to be focusing on the skill of balancing. Now when I say the word balance, what comes to your mind? What do you think about when I say the word balance? I bet you most of you are thinking about gymnastics, like on the balance beam. Or maybe you're thinking of ice skating or skateboarding, because that requires a lot of balance when you're on a slippery surface or a surface with wheels. But actually, every activity that involves movement requires balance, especially sports. Think about a balanced catch in football, or even making a quick crossover in basketball. If you didn't have good balance, you would slip and you would fall a lot. So today we're gonna to focus on the skill of balancing. There's a couple tips I want you to remember. As you balance, trying to maintain equilibrium, okay, is, is the key. Okay, right in the center, because we want to be upright and hold our position. Okay, so having your arms out will definitely help to maintain an upright position. And also, finding a focal point. Maybe you want to stare at a spot on your wall or the TV or something um, that you can, you can just stare at that doesn't move so that it can help you maintain your balance. Let's start out on one foot. So I got a nice soft surface of a mat at home. Make sure you got some space, maybe a carpeting or a soft, uh, maybe yoga mat or something you could put down just to, just to have that soft support. So one foot and you can put your hands out, find that focal point and try to keep tight muscles. Okay, we wanna be still as a statue, no wiggles and wobbles. Okay, we wanna be still as can be. We're gonna to try to hold each pose for about 10 seconds. Switch, try the other foot. Really focus on that focal point. Squeeze your muscles, you wanna be tight. If somebody in your home tried to come over and give you a push, you would be able to be strong and be able to stay upright. Gotta have great balance. Very good. Now we're going we're gonna to step it up a notch, a little bit more difficult. We're going to still be on one foot, but this time we're going to lean forwards like an airplane. Get your wings out, lean forward and hold. You might find there's some turbulence at home. Maybe, maybe your wings are, are moving back and forth, but try to keep them right in the middle. Switch. Balance is a skill that's often overlooked. A lot of people don't practice the skill of balancing enough. It's something that you use all the time. It's super important. It'll help you be more successful at sports and other activities. Good, so right there our basic support was one foot. Now I want you to balance using two feet, one hand. Okay, so that can be done in a variety of ways. You can be creative at home. You might just put a hand down like this. You could be in a plank position, one hand down. You could be rotated on your side. But hold it still as you can be for 10 seconds. try to balance on just one foot, one hand. So you could do a, like a side plank like this. You can raise a leg, that's pretty difficult. Okay, or you could, you could try a different pose that you, you want to do. Maybe it's more while standing. And hold your pose. try to balance on one foot, two hands. This is always a fun one. It kind of looks, if you can raise your leg up high enough, like the standing splits. Good. 
good. Now let's lower down to our bottoms. I want you to balance on your bottom in different shapes. I'll show you a couple different shapes. Now you can try a round shape. Keep those feet off the mat or off the ground. You can hug your knees. This is a round shape like a ball. Or you could try like a, a narrow shape, making the letter V with your body. Maybe you want to go a wide shape, arms and legs out. Or you could even try a twisted shape. Maybe you want to twist your legs, twist your arms. Okay, this would be a twisted shape, kind of like a pretzel. All right, let's move on to our backs now. So balance on your back, hold the pose. Maybe you want to get your feet up. And see if now you can rock back on your shoulders and really push your legs up. How high can you get your feet? Can you lower your feet behind you and even touch the ground? Now let's try to balance on our stomach. You can pretend to be a superhero if you want. You can both, both arms out, legs out, or you can just do one arm like you're soaring through the air. Another fun pose to do on your stomach is called the bow. You can actually reach back, grab both feet, and arch upward. So you're making the curvature of a bow, and your arms are the strings of the bow. Excellent. Let's try our base. Let's try changing our base of support to two hands, two feet. Now, a lot of you probably would go right away to a plank position, kind of like you're about to start push-ups. But there's so many different ways to do this balance with two hands, two feet. So I'll show you another one. You can make a table. Try to keep your, your body as flat as you can. Or you can even try something where you arch upward, make a bridge. Put your thumbs by your ears, then reverse your hands on the mat and push upward. Good. We just explored a bunch of different bases of support when we're balancing and using our arms to help us and other body parts to maintain our equilibrium right in the middle. Now it's time for, for a performance. Yes, you heard me. I said performance. You are going to perform three different balances. It could be ones that we haven't explored yet, but you want to try. Maybe some are easy, some medium, or even very difficult. But you're gonna try to hold them still as a statue, okay, without moving, still as you can be, for 10 seconds. Now I'll do the counting, or even if you had someone at your home, they could count for you and be your judge. Okay, they're gonna be giving you a score. Now the scores work like this. If you fall while trying to hold your balance, thumbs down. If you wiggle and wobble a lot, but still keep your balance, right in the middle. And if you hold it perfectly still as a statue for 10 seconds, 
perfect score, thumbs up. So you're gonna try to, to hold your balance for 10 seconds. If you don't have anyone around you to judge, to judge your performance, you can judge your own performance by looking into a mirror. And that way you'll be able to see if you wiggled or wobbled at all. All right, let's go for the first balance for your performance. All right, get in position now. In three, two, one, go. Time, 10 seconds. How'd you do on that first one? Judges, give a score on the first balance. All right, moving into balance number two for your performance. Think of it, what you're gonna do, maybe change your base of support. If you're on your hands and feet, maybe you wanna try your stomach or back. Get in position in three, two, one, hold. Time. Judges, give a score. How'd they do? Did they fall? Did they wiggle or wobble? Or did they hold it, hold it perfectly still? Now be thinking about what you want to do for your final performance, your final balance. Okay, maybe you want to make it a little more difficult, but if you, if you fell, maybe you want to change it, make it a little easier. Try to get a good score on this last one. Get in position now in three, two, one, begin. Time, excellent job with your balancing performance. And judges, make sure you give a score on that last one. Show them how they did. It's always good to get that feedback to know how you did on your performance and even to make some adjustments in the future. And if you have some siblings at home, maybe you want them to be a part of it too and you can, you can watch their balance performances as well. Well, excellent job exploring the skill of balancing. I hope you continue to work on this skill because you'll use it the rest of your life. Take care, good job today.